hello so in this first video we will see how we can create our uh, first java console application using uh, eclipse the video seems that you have uh, eclipse in the system and java also installed okay first what we will do uh, we will go to a folder then we will create uh, two stuff one is uh, java source we will create this folder in this folder we will place our java source files then we will create a uh, eclipse workspace so i will just clear that there is already something so that's all so first we need to create two folder here uh, one is a uh, eclipse workspace that's first folder and second folder is uh, Java SRC. This folder stores all Eclipse workspace related information. Here we will store all of our Java source code files. Now let me open Eclipse for Java. Let me browse. Yeah. So this uh, workspace. Uh, already selected otherwise you have to click browse and uh, select your uh, newly created folder that will act as a eclipse workspace so the workspace will store all the eclipse related information so say for example if you set some different font settings and uh, the java coding style uh, how the black uh, open and close parentheses should appear how how the tab space should appear all those settings goes and gets stored into this particular workspace inside this folder i mean okay let us launch uh, eclipse here i am using uh, oxygen version so you can choose uh, whatever is your favorite version favorite version um, skip it okay we will create our uh, first Java application. Then we will see how we can compile and run it. So what I'm doing, first I'm clicking a file, new Java project. So project name, I'm choosing it as uh, my first. So here it shows a uh, use uh, default location. Uh, let me choose uh, Java SRC. So this is the project name and this is the location we will create our project and I'll click next. So accept the default and click finish. So now we have our project ready. Project name is my first. Then we will add a class. So package, let us go with the default package and we will create our first class. Here we will deselect inherited abstract methods and choose a public static void bin. This is the program entry point and this means um, uh, we can execute our class because uh, it has the uh, program entry point so i'm clicking finish now if you see here in the package explorer under the default package our class get created and it has some um, public static void main inside it we'll put a print statement here system dot node dot here let me put uh, some text string That's all. But uh, first program is uh, ready. So it just prints uh, hello world 
in the console output window. If you see the problem shows one error. String liter is not properly closed. That means I have to end it here. So once you, you can still see the error here. Uh, if I click save, the error will go because under the project, the default option build automatically is selected. So if I click here, it automatically builds this file and this error goes. Some people use uh, manual build. So if I uncheck this, then you have to build this every time. So to run this, uh, we should go to run and go for run configuration. We can even go here and uh, pick the run configuration. Since this is the first time I'm running, uh, we have to provide the run configuration. Then Java application, double click here. If you see it automatically picked our class, since there is only one class, it picked that. Uh, this is our project. If we have a multiple project, then you can click browse, type the project name here, it will automatically get filtered and a project can have multiple classes so search here and specify the or filter the class name uh, by typing it here here we know that my class this is my class that contains uh, void main i mean static void main that's the program entry point so that's what we specified here so all other stuff we will see in some other video so i'm clicking run if you see it shows a console window and also provides a hello world so if i type some other text here save it and uh, this time you can directly run why because we already configured the run configuration just click this and you will see the explanation mark next to the hello world that's all in this video we will see some other example in next videos.